Thank you for tuning in for more stock market news updates. For more videos on the latest stock market developments, press the like button and subscribe. Once you've pressed the like button, you can now sit back and enjoy the latest stock news. The era of self-driving taxis has officially dawned on the iconic streets of San Francisco, with two technology giants at the forefront of this innovation. General Motors subsidiary Cruise and Alphabet's Waymo have been granted the green light to operate self-driving taxis within the city. This significant regulatory milestone allows the companies to offer paid rides in autonomous vehicles around the clock, unencumbered by restrictions on the number of vehicles they can deploy. While Alphabet's shares experienced a marginal dip of 0.3%, General Motors' stock remained largely unaffected in pre-market trading. The development marks a significant leap towards a future where driverless technology reshapes the way we commute. In microeconomic news, we have developments in the EV industry that have piqued interest. A few weeks ago, CYVN Holdings, representing the Abu Dhabi government, invested significantly in NIO, securing a substantial stake in a director's seat. On the other hand, Volkswagen acquired a 5% stake in Xping, along with plans for collaborative EV development. These strategic investments reflect a macro-driven shift in the Chinese auto market, underpinning the long-term prospects for these companies. The market now eagerly awaits the unveiling of the second quarter earnings report for both of these EV companies. Ping and NIO are poised to provide insights that could shape the course of these companies' trajectories. Ping's Q2 earnings are slated for release on the 18th of August, while NEO's earnings announcement is anticipated shortly thereafter, promising intriguing reading for market enthusiasts and investors alike. In other EV stock news, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has captured the attention of the investment world. ARK Invest divested itself of 76,425 shares of Tesla's TSLA stock, signaling a strategic shift in the firm's portfolio. This calculated move raises questions about the future direction of both ARK Invest and Tesla, while also underscoring the fluid and adaptive nature of investment strategies in today's dynamic market environment. In the realm of aerospace innovation, Archer Aviation has reached a groundbreaking agreement with aviation giant Boeing. Archer, a pioneer in air taxis, has settled litigation over critical technology with Boeing, a move that propelled Archer's shares to a remarkable 25% surge. The agreement signifies a significant step forward for Archer, which has also secured $215 million in equity investments from notable players such as Boeing, Stellantis, and United Airlines. As Archer aims to secure Federal Aviation Administration approval by 2025, this collaboration demonstrates the collaborative spirit and shared vision driving advancements in the aerospace sector. In technology news, we have more optimism building for Palantir Technologies. Palantir's second quarter earnings report paints a picture of a company in transition, marked by growth in its customer base and the successful negotiation of large-scale deals. Of particular note is the decline in stock-based compensation, a sign of prudent fiscal management. Bolstering its position, Palantir boasts an impressive balance sheet featuring $3.1 billion in cash. This financial foundation positions the company favorably for future growth opportunities. Palantir's demonstrated profitability and projected revenue expansion align it with the credentials of a potential candidate for inclusion in the prestigious S&P 500 index, solidifying its standing as a significant player within its industry. In the world of e-commerce and retail, strategic analyses have prompted noteworthy adjustments to price targets. Redburn Partners, in an affirmation of Amazon's strength, has boosted its price target from $220 to $230. With an enduring buy rating, Amazon's trajectory continues to command attention. However, the pre-market trading landscape has seen Amazon shares experience a slight dip of 0.3%, with each movement under scrutiny in the dynamic realm of electronic trading. On the other hand, Telsey Advisory Group has revised its price prediction for the retail giant target downwards, from $185 to $165. Despite this modification, Telsey Advisory Group maintains an outperform rating for target reflecting an outlook that retains a degree of optimism. The pre-market trading response has witnessed target shares edging up by 0.1% to $131, 
underscoring the intricate dance between market sentiment and analyst projections. In macroeconomic news, we saw the stock market experienced a modest upward tick following the release of a pivotal inflation report, which hinted at encouraging signs that the pace of price growth is beginning to revert to more typical levels. The report, which pertains to July's Consumer Price Index, indicated a continued deceleration in inflation. This has sparked optimism among investors that the Federal Reserve might reconsider its stance on interest rate hikes slated for September. Notably, prices were up 3.2% from a year ago, with housing and rent emerging as the primary contributors to this trend. Speaking about stocks and housing, Vincent Deloard, the Director of Global Macro Strategy at Stonex Group, has raised a flag of caution amidst the prevailing optimism. Deloard's concerns center on the surge in stock prices, which have rallied by an impressive 25% from October lows. He highlights the S&P 500's elevated price-to-earnings ratio, now exceeding 22 times earnings, as a potential red flag. Delaware suggests that the mounting pressure on corporate profits, coupled with rising yields in Treasury bonds, two-year and 10-year yields nearing 5% and 4% respectively, could prompt investors to reconsider their stock exposure. Moreover, Delaware points to the frozen state of the U.S. housing market, which he believes will eventually thaw. Homeowners benefiting from attractive fixed-rate mortgages have been reluctant to sell, resulting in a scarcity of inventory and buoyed home values. However, he predicts that life events such as job changes, relocations, and other factors will eventually lead to a correction in housing prices. The U.S. economy has defied recession forecasts due to a range of factors, including public spending programs and inflation-related policy adjustments. Delaware acknowledges the growth momentum but anticipates a shift by January or February, indicating a potential slowdown. He attributes this change to the cumulative impact of the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes. In a different domain, tensions are brewing between the United Auto Workers Union and the Detroit Three automakers, namely GM, Ford, and Stellantis. The central point of contention lies in the transition toward electric vehicles and its implications for labor. While President Biden's pro-EV policies align with his labor-oriented approach, the absence of unionization in most EV battery plants poses challenges. The UAW's demand for uniform standards clashes with automakers' desire for flexibility to compete effectively. It seems that the emerging picture is one of cautious optimism laced with prudent concern. The automotive sector's struggles in the face of EV transitions reflect broader challenges in balancing technological advancement and labor interests. Strategic investments in the EV space and evolving dynamics further illustrate the nuanced decisions investors must make. In this intricate landscape, adaptability and strategic acumen remain key attributes for navigating the ever-shifting currents of the financial realm. As the financial saga unfolds, Investors remain poised to decode the evolving narrative, extracting opportunities amidst the dynamic interplay of data. Therefore, investors need to stay informed on the latest stock news updates so they can make the most educated investment decisions with the information they acquire. If you made it to the end of the video, please press the like button and leave a comment down below on your favorite stock news story. Also, if you want to stay updated on the latest stock news, you can subscribe to stay informed. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck and happy investing.